we're gonna be talking about the brand new Rogue Glide and Street Glide and see if this bike is for you out there. Welcome back to another video, guys. We are here with the coolest white guy I know, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Can you hear some chant, man? Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about the brand new Rogue Glide and Street Glide and see if this bike is for you out there. Um, I don't even know where to begin. Let's talk about design. Let's talk about what you like right now, what I like. Um, I know you were at the dealership yesterday looking at the bikes in person. You saw a bunch of the new ones. Yes. Sir. What do you think so far? What do you, what do you think about the new bikes now, now that you saw all of them in person? Yeah, now I saw all because a couple weeks ago I saw just the regular ones, the brown or copper, copper. whatever, copper head. Uh, it's not really like copper, but it's really. Yeah, it's like a, my wife like a doesn't burgundy. like it. It's like a burgundy. Yeah. She goes, she doesn't like it. Um, and then we saw the STs and I saw the Legend Orange paint job on the Street Glide, which was really nice, but not $6,000 in this, hmm. in my opinion. $6,000 for a paint job is a little uh, steep. Yeah, even if I had it, I wouldn't. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's it's not, it's beautiful. It, it, it's a really cool paint job, but I mean, um, I mean, it depends. Like, I prefer the Street Glide. I think I have to ride them, the new ones, both of them. My wife does not like the Road Glide at all. She definitely prefers the Street Glide, and she actually like. I sat on like the white Road Glide, then I sat on the the. Um, the white one's my favorite. I kind of like the white, but my wife didn't really care for it's it. It's my favorite. And then I, um, of the standard models, and I sat on the shark skin street glide with black my accent. Favorite. My second favorite. And my wife loved it. She's like, you look so good on that bike. That's the, on the street that glide? Street glide with the, really? this, uh, the shark skin with the black. Yeah. She goes, that's like perfect. Then I sat on the ST and she's like, I don't know. She goes, it looks huge. She goes, why does it look bigger than the white one? Because I sat on the, the black one. Uh -huh. I said, I don't know. It's the same bike. And she goes, yeah, but it looks so much bigger or whatever. Me personally, if money wasn't an object, black, the Raven Black ST all day. Beautiful. All day. Same here. If money was, wasn't an option right now, like, you know what? I want the black one. But in reality, between the price and interest rates and everything, no way. No way. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that bike out the door, you're looking at 50 grand. 50 grand, they told you me. You know, yeah. the standard out the door, 30. you're looking upwards around 30 ish. Depends yeah. on what options you got with it. Like yeah. I was gonna get it with the blue, either the burst blue or the shark skin with black, and it was thirty out the door. Yeah. But again, with one of my trade-ins or whatever, it still it was like twenty grand. I would have to lay out on a loan or whatever, and it was like four hundred a month for six year, uh, five years, and I was like, no that's way. Still a lot, yeah. I was like, that's a lot of money. I'm like, I'm not doing that. Yeah. You know, all my shit's paid for, so I'm like why go into payments it's to me i mean i haven't ridden them yet i rode the 23 and a half cvo so i'm assuming it's pretty much the same thing with the, but that was with the vvt but i want to try the 117 and i want to try the st so once there's a demo day yeah. you're obviously going to go i want to see the differences or whatever but to me right now the the juice isn't worth the squeeze you know right and this is the reason why i kind of have i wanted to have this conversation because a lot of people right now are trying to debate, hey, should I trade my current bike for the new models or or even for the people who don't have a bagger but are kind of interested in, in, in getting the new Rogue Glide or Street Glide? It's a good conversation to have right now. Um, and this guy drives me crazy because every other day he has a different idea. Pretty much. And one week he's like, no, I would never get rid of my Street Glide, I love it. The next week he's like, I kind of want the Rogue Glide. And next week he's like, oh, the new ST, I'm kind of thinking about it. Yeah. Like yesterday he was back in the dealership and now he wants it after telling me a few days ago that he wouldn't trade it at all. So it's, yeah. No, I mean, I, I, like I said, if money was no object, I'd want it or if I hit the lottery or whatever, but. No, no, all right, so let, let's forget about that right now. Well, let's talk about, all right, the new Road Glide and the Street Glide. Mm -hmm. Is it appealing to you? Do you like them? Does it interest you? The Road Glide. I mean, peep, peep, the Road Glide is growing on me. I actually like looking at it from the front, where most people don't look like look look. Uh, look. Most people don't like looking at it from the front. They talk about I like that. 
I don't like looking from the handlebar side, which is what I'm going to be doing all the time. Really? It looks so nice, though. I don't. Like, the whole cockpit design of the fairing inside, it just makes you feel like with you're the, with, with the, the, now. No, not with the, not with the, the matte fairing, no. no. On, the, on, the, on the CBO, I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm not a fan of matte. That matte fairing looks the inner, cheap to inner me. Liner, like I it looks too like cheap it. to me on both of them. Yeah. Like, I'd have to change, if I couldn't change it out for color matched or black or gloss black, I'd at minimum would have to change the speaker grills because those look cheap. Yeah, the speaker grills don't look good. They it, look it, cheap. It, it does look a lot of cheap, yeah. Um, and the matte finish, I'm just, I've never been a, a fan no, of the matte finish. I have gloss on mine, like I said, I didn't, that's why I bought my bike, because it came with the gloss finish, and it came with the bigger screen. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to get a, a special when I got my bike. It was a yeah. two-tone page up, but then, you know, the... My bike's a standard, but it was an anniversary, so they gave, they for that year, they, besides the special paint, they had the gloss interfering yeah, yeah. and the bigger screen. So I was like, oh, I'll take that. Yeah, but, all right, so let, since, since you like the street light, since you're a street light guy, Mm -hmm. Is the new street light appealing to you? Yes. Like, is it making you think, hey, maybe I should trade my bike in? I won't trade my street glide in because of the values. Right, but is it? I would get in addition do you want to. It? Yeah, yeah. I would trade something else, and I have you know a couple bikes, so yeah. I would trade something else in. But I was I was thinking about it, but then I'm like, well, if I already have a street glide, not why not get the road glide? Which is what I told you. Yeah, but my wife doesn't like the road glide, so. But then, How often does your wife ride with you? I mean, she rides with you sometimes. Not all the time. Probably less than 5% of the well, time. So when she rides with you, get her in the street light. Well, that's it. Well, now I just did the street glide. I did front and rear legend suspension at full adjustable rear. And I got a um, Saddam and Road Sofa coming with the, you know, everything. So she, she should be set. Yeah. yeah. So, so when she rides with you, she rides that bike. And then if you want the road glide. Yeah, that's you know? it. Yeah. And, and you said that the road glide is still kind of growing on you? It's still kind of growing on me. Like I said, I like the front. I'm not big on the back. What, what, what is it about I, the design? I, I'm not. I don't know if I really like these those compartments. I like, dude. I love the freaking street guy. With the, I wish I had that on my bike. The drawer. The draw. Yeah. Oh, that thing. That, that was like. Yeah, that was like all oh, that's cool. like. Awesome. And it's pretty spacious. Yeah. It's I know what else I could fit in there too. So yeah. like you know. Yeah, I know. Pow pow. Pow pow. But the design of the road glide though. What is it about? Because you said it's still growing on you. What is it about that you don't like it that much? Like I said, I think it's the the back where you're so far, like you're still so far. I mean, I had a 19 special, all blacked out, like you know, and and I, that bike was growing on me too. And, and the it, thing is that you you ride a street glide and you're used to having everything. I right like there it. I do you, like it right, right here. The road glide, everything is far apart, yeah. and it it takes some time when you ride in the bike. For you to kind of feel comfortable and everything, because when I first got my bike, I was like, everything feels so far yeah, away. Yeah, so far away. But now when I get on, it's like, I, I don't. And it does feeling. feel bigger. Like yeah. I feel like the street glide is small, but it's not. It it's just, just the feels, handlebars, yeah. the way everything is. Yeah, I mean, I, I do like the handlebars on the new bike. Yeah. Um, the ST ones, I'd probably have to adjust them or do a different bar. Keep the rides or we do a different bar, hmm. maybe. But I definitely like the stock, the standard road glide. I like the bars. Yeah. I could always I would just adjust. Yeah, oh. it's a twenty seven I think it's twenty seven degree and yeah. you can adjust it, push it forward, back, bring yeah, holes, I like keep those. It. they're comfortable. I like those. And the design of it, like I, I keep hearing that a lot of people are like, Well it's, the design is kind of growing on me, it's growing on me. I, you know, it's and it's something when it, when you're not used to seeing something, especially on a brand new design from an old going from old to new, it takes time for people to kinda get used to it. For you yeah. to like it, for for you to grow on it, because it's so different, you know. Me from the beginning, I told you, like I I love the design, yeah, yeah. but I'm I mean, very. I, I think I, it's better than this. I, yeah, I mean, I love the design, but it, but I I love both, you know. But I was one of the people from the beginning. I was like, I really love the design, but I also think differently. I I look at things that a certain way, you know. It actually, to me, it looks like in, in, the, in the, the newer Battlestar Galactica, the the Cylon. Yeah. Head or whatever. Like, so it kind of. I mean, it just kind of looks like. And dude, and even from the side, the, if you look at if you park that bike and look at it from the side and look at how the lines flow and go, I mean, it's just. I definitely it like it more than good. the Challenger or this style. That looks way better than the Challenger. Yeah. I mean, this bike looks better than the Challenger. Yeah, I wasn't big you know? on that. Yeah. Looks wise, it looked way better, but the new one looks even better than than you know. Yeah, I mean, I you know, I really do like that. You know, I like the bike; it's growing on me. I have to ride them, but it's, it's a no-go for me this year. A couple years, who knows? Like you said, like stuff's still growing on me. Like I had a you know a, a, a 20, um, 2015, a twenty sixteen Jeep Grand Cherokee. I loved that body style or whatever, and I had a two thousand 
2008 before that, which I really loved, and then they changed it to the newer roundabout style, which I, I grew on me. I liked it. But now the new style is not, I'm not there yet with the new jokes. Yeah. So I'm like, like you said, you have to see the stuff, and I've been seeing it more and more. You're and I'm like, eh, eh. yeah, yeah, like you said, you got to get used to it. You also need to be a little open minded, man. Yeah. But I'm older, so I kind of like what I like. Yeah, but your bike is little by little transitioning, changing up a lot. Your bike looks a lot different now from when. Yeah. You know, from a long time ago, changing two years. Bangers, but. You know, yeah, we that, that's, we gotta change that on. Um, all right, so let, let's talk about a few things. I'll be uh, just before we end the video uh, on what people need to know about the bike. Um, because if you are interested in it, or is it for you? Price point for this. Let's just talk about the standards. You're looking at twenty five thousand dollars. That's a starting point. Mm -hmm. After fees and everything, or color, whatever it is, you're gonna any add ons is gonna change. Um, and whether it's gonna be chrome or black components, that's gonna change. So you're looking at maybe thirty ish out the door for anything. Color is six to seven, six to seven fifty. Depending on the colors, on the color, six to seven fifty because there's only there's no two tones, so that's not. The, and then to get the black option, it's like thirteen fifty or thirteen fifty around there yeah. somewhere. And then it's like eight fifty for uh, freight. Yeah. And then whatever your dealer charges you for prep or whatever. Yeah. Um, so you, you, that's one thing you got to look at. So you're looking at the price point, right? Um, you're looking at uh, the technology. Great, you're going to get the same technology that you're going to have on the CBOs when it comes to the infotainment system. So that 12.3 that inch screen, look, which looks that great. That pretty cool. It looks awesome. It's yeah. right in your face. There's so much stuff. And, and it looks very, very futuristic. And it looks cool as hell. Very, very clean. That's one thing. I, I like it. It makes, it cleans the it does. whole yeah, it does. bearing up, the whole interfering very nice. It looks very clean. Mm -hmm. um, 117, um, yeah, better. Which I'm glad they got rid of the 107, yeah. 114. Better suspension. So you got the three inch travel. No, it's mm -hmm. a huge difference. You haven't written it. Yeah. I've written it. It's a huge uh, Like difference. I said, I only rode the 23 and a half. So it's basically the same suspension in the back. Um, it doesn't have that knob like that. It has more of an adjustment this way. Yeah, I, I, I got it. Because these had the knob with the... Yeah, I, it might be the same. I'm not, I'm not sure. But it's a three-inch travel compared to the other one mm -hmm. on the stock models, which I'm telling well, they you... They said the front is a big difference. The front is the same. It's just tuned differently. Yeah. It's tuned differently. But the back is where, you know, you, where it kind of matters. Um, but it's a huge difference in the back. Um, power delivery obviously with the 117 oh, the modes you yeah. know the riding modes huge difference with that you got rain mode you got road mode you got sport mode sport mode is super fun um I is love it, it twitchier like the indian or is yeah it like yeah it's just you, you you definitely feel it especially yeah. like if you if you guys get on it play with the modes it's very there's a mode button on the right side and you'll see the difference as you mm. go like just play with each one it's very very cool yeah because when i wrote the cvo i didn't put it in sport mode because i couldn't find the button yeah so. Yeah, um, LED lighting in the front. Um, I mean, the, the bike handles great. It's way lighter. It's about 35, 36 pounds lighter than the, the predecessor, the outgoing model. Colors are really good this year, um, too. Colors are good. They're not amazing. They're good. They're very They're, they're a lot better than the last very two subtle. years. They're, they're, they're very subtle colors. But like I love the white. Burst. Yeah, the, the white to me is my favorite. Uh, shark skin blue for mm -hmm. me is second with black. And then I really love that. Uh, it's like a this silver color is really nice it's really clean oh yeah my wife pointed that one out yesterday yeah, she's really, like what color is this yeah, I'm like, it's, oh. it's really nice even the what you call the whiskey red is nice the whiskey fire the, the what you call it's not bad either the, the actual stock color the gray it's really nice yeah the billiard gray it, it looks person. better on that than it does on the smaller bikes yeah yeah because it's, it's more it has more of a body you know i mean my my top colors would be the blue burst the shark skin then probably the white and then the black and i really like the green i don't know yeah. The green you can only get it in, in, in chrome, but I mean, think about, I mean, me personally, I, I like green. That green bike with uh, those cr chrome components, add some gold into there and it, mm. it, uh, some little bit. I don't know, man. Not a fan. Every other color, that would be my last color. Really? 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 Hmm. Interesting. Unless, unless you were going to give me the gold from last year, then yeah, I'd be like, I'll give me the green one instead. Hmm. Um, I don't know, though. The, I don't know for any anybody who wants to trade up, uh, it's something that you gotta kind of sit down and think about because you gotta think about your trading value for your bike, mm -hmm. um, or if you're gonna just sell it on the streets to someone. Um, think about that. Uh, I mean, if money is not an option, you're good. Go for the bike. It's an amazing bike. It's great. It rides great. Handles great. Performs great. Um, and it looks awesome, man. Um, I mean, can we talk about like who who do I think it's for? Or? Sure. Okay. 
to me, I think if you're somebody who has a Sportster or a low rider or a smaller bike, and that's what you have now, currently, and you can either keep it or trade it in or sell it on your own, 100% buy the new bike. If you're somebody who has like maybe like an 08 or uh, you know anything pre-Rushmore, absolutely buy the new bike. Yeah. I think if you're in that, you know, the Rushmore age and you're like an older bike, like a twin cam, I'd buy the new bike. Yeah. But if you have so if you bought it within the last couple of years, you're going to take a major, major hit on trade in. So yeah. I would, if I if I had a 22 or 21, even like a 20, I'd say a 20 to 23, I would just keep what I have. That was like like I I really want the new one. I really I really yeah, do. Yeah, your bike's a 21. So but like, my my bike is a 21. There's a lot of money, time and money invested into this bike, and I you know I yeah. I, I'm gonna be losing out a lot, but I I do want it. I do want that that new bike. Well, even my 18, seven years old, but I I got a lot of money into my bike, and I'm yeah. kind of I like I love my paint job, so I really don't. And I, I did I, my bike's almost completely done. The only thing I really have to do I changed the wheels, I changed the engine, I changed everything. The only thing I haven't changed is the uh, the stereo, and that's probably my last thing I'm gonna do. Yeah, and that's the thing is like all right. Uh, then it's like I gotta restart the clock. Over yeah, exactly. Again. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if I, if honestly, if I bought the low the, the low rider, you got me on a low rider on the brain too now. If I bought the Road Glide ST CVO, I barely change anything. It'd be very minimal. No, that bike. You know, for for example, someone like you, you know, you buy it out the box, it comes ready, you're good. Yeah. You know, me, I'm still gonna change a few things around because I'm just. I'm gonna change a couple things. But my wife's not going to ride on that bike with me. She'd ride on the other bike. Yeah. So I'm not going to make it two up, and I'm not going to change. I'm going to keep it more performance oriented. But if I was buying a standard one, I mean the rims I like, but I don't like the silver. So first thing I would do is powder coat those, change the seat. I like the wheels. I like the wheels, but I don't like the, the aluminum. I, don't, I think it looks cool. I don't know. I'm, I, I'm pretty I, sure. I, Powder coat and black. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they, they look really nice all black, but... Oh, yeah, I like that because I have the 22 Special wheels on my bike, so yeah. I like the Prodigy wheels in yeah. black. I was going to get them originally like this, and I like the all black ones that I got. I mean, depending on the color and everything as well. And, That's true. With the blue, know. I think the black pops better. But the, the bike is great. Um, anything else you want to add on? No, I mean, like I said, I mean, I encourage everybody to go to the dealers and... Throw a leg over it, man. Throw a leg over it. If you can ride them, ride them. I mean, I don't think you'd be giving them demos on the, the CVOs, but at least on the standard models, depending on your climate, ride the bikes. It's a big difference from, like I said, if you have an older bike, and if I had something older or smaller, I would definitely be trading up. Yeah, and and, and for those of you guys who are kind of, you're coming off from a, a smaller bike, from a soft tail or something, or maybe a dyno or whatever, yeah. um, yeah. E even if you, if, if you feel intimidated by these bigger bikes, they're very easy to ride. Yeah. They're very, very easy to ride, and these new ones are lighter. <clears throat> and the plus that this new model has is that it has uh, the modes. So for example, if, if you want to put it on rain mode, it tames everything down. Mm -hmm. So it's not gonna give you all that torque that you would normally get when you're on road mode, or especially on, on sport. But rain mode for someone who's gonna go from a smaller bike to a bigger bike, and you want to get kind of used to riding the bigger bikes around and get the feel of it, Put on raid mode, it teams everything down, makes it much easier for you. Plus you also have ABS, traction control, lean angle, lean sense angle of assist. Fear. Like it, it's Hill assist. it's a big difference when you come off the That's bike, the especially if you have a bike with no ABS. Yeah. So ABS, hill assist, which mm -hmm. is awesome. Yeah. Um link uh brake system link as brakes, well. Yeah. Which is great. The the lean angle. Lean angle. Um and it, I mean the, the bike performs with the mm -hmm. rain mode it, it performs great. Uh, it definitely takes uh takes a lot off off the mind when you when you have that on. Yeah. Um yeah man, if you if you're thinking about it, uh throw a leg over it if you're able to ride it, go for it. Daytona is in a few weeks. Um mm -hmm. if you're down there, they're gonna be doing double rides. Yeah. Get on a bike, ride it, trust me, you're gonna come off the bike with a smile because it's that's what it's for. It it's gonna deliver. Um, if you guys want to see more content like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button so to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And like always, ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Peace. You gonna do your tongue thing again? No. What? No. <laughs>
<laughs> All over. You got your fucking thermals on? Yeah, sweatpants, man. Right? I went to the gym, I worked out. That's how I keep this figure, man. You know, nice slim. You don't look all puffy like peanuts. Today we're gonna be talking about is the brand new low rack love. What the fuck? So Are you got that on your brain. Fucking lowrider, shit. 